Hey, today I'm at the Caramore Community, a new Dries development in Westfield, Indiana. We're gonna take a tour through this model home. It's the Alden, it's pretty sweet. It's got some things you don't usually see. And then we're gonna take a quick peek at uh, four quick move-ins that'll be ready here in the next uh, 30 to 60, 75 days, if that interests you. And uh, before we're through today, we'll take a quick tour of the uh, city of Westfield and all the amenities that it has to offer in the nearby area and do a quick market update for you so you can maybe find some actionable information so that uh, you can make your next deal a true success. You know, they have a sign out here in front of uh, this Dries home and I wanted to point it out. They talk about, ask about building this home anywhere. And uh, I wanted to mention, I uh, probably 20% of my business is land sales and uh, I can help you work through all the zoning issues and all the other things that go into building your, a home on your own private lot. So if that interests you, uh, hit me up in the comments section below and uh, see if I can help you out. Okay, let's go look at uh, those quick move-in lots. Okay, we're inside the Alden model. Uh, nice entryway with a view into the uh, main gathering room. Right to the right is a powder room. And to the left is a really nice, large office space. It's got uh, really nice windows, a lot of natural light coming through there, through the porch. I like that uh, woodwork they have in the back there, but nice size. So we come on in here and uh, there's your entrance to the garage with uh, a boot bench. And I imagine this is a coat closet, so all convenient here. We come into the main gathering area and uh, one of the things I really like about Dree's Homes is this. They just do a really nice job, I think, of doing that soaring ceiling thing. So when you're sitting here, you really feel like you're in just a whole lot of big house. Um, just really nicely done. And if you come back here on this big island, it's got four stools underneath it and uh, just gives you a nice view of everything that's going on. You have the dining area over here. They've got it set up with a uh, six top, but you could usually easily do more if you wanted. There's room there if you wanted some kind of furniture, um, solid state if you wanted. Got uh, Nice big patio. You did a pave around this, that's nice. And what I like is you can come in right here, put your food down on dining room table or onto the uh, kitchen counter if you've been grilling. Kitchen's got attractive backsplash. I'm sure we've got uh, soft closed cabinets. You've got a gas cooktop, attractive hood fan. You've got the tall cabinets. You've got uh, stainless steel appliances. They're Whirlpool. You've got their microwave, the dishwasher, side-by-side -side refrigerator with French doors. And uh, you've got a double oven here. Nice. Got a step-in pantry. Hey, they even got a stock for you. So this is uh, nicely done here come into uh, the main living area, gathering area. Lots of windows, two stories of them. Nice, big, attractive fireplace, stone look. Kind of like that, gas log fireplace. Okay, you're, <laughs> this is different, you're gonna like this. This is set up to be either a game room, or a movie room, or a theater room, or I don't know. There's a lot of things you could do with it. Um, you could partition it up a little bit if you wanted, but look at the size of this sectional that they have in here. It's just a lot of space. A view from back in the corner here. I mean, a lot of things you could do here. It really makes it nice to uh, send people to one end or the other of the house. So if you're considering moving here, you're gonna to wanna to pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. 
While we're over here, let's uh, take a look at the basement. Okay, this is uh, poured concrete walls. Pretty good size. I like the ceiling height, so you could finish this if you wanted. There's stub in for um, a bathroom down here, and then you've got your mechanicals. So a lot of good space here that you could divide up however you wanted, or leave it open. And we'll go upstairs and uh, see what else we've got up here. One of the things they have going on right now is uh, they have $10,000 of flex spend that you can use either for closing costs or for upgrades on a house. Get carpeted stairs to cut down the noise. At the top of the stairs you have a good sized laundry area with sink. Linen closet. And you've got a good size master. Tray ceiling on top of nine foot ceilings really gives a large feel to this. I mean, you've got a good size chest of drawers, you've got two nightstands, you got the bed, and you've got a wing chair, and there's still all kinds of other room. So you could add some furniture in here and you wouldn't uh, feel cramped. Okay, we'll come into the uh, master bath. You got double vanities. Water closet. And check out this uh, master bedroom closet. This is nice. Okay, here's your entryway to the shower. Nicely tiled. I like that they run all the way to the ceiling. You've got the uh, rainforest uh, um, at the top, and then you've got the other on the wall. So um, nicely done. So nice master bath and closet, and just a really nice master ensuite. Good size. Okay, then you take a couple steps up. So you got kind of a split floor plan here. You have a good sized bedroom with lots of windows and natural light. Decent size little walk-in. And we have another bedroom. Somewhere walk in. And yet another bedroom. Closet. And this one has its own private bath. You have an adult child or in law or some situation that's, uh, or maybe, maybe it's the person that uses the bathroom the longest, they get this one, so everybody else can use the other one. So I was mistaken when I said that this had uh, one, two and a half, it's three and a half bathrooms. Okay, and so then we have another one here, shared by the other two bedrooms. Okay, I like this view from up here. You get the fireplace. Okay. Go back down. Take one more look at this. This is a really nice kitchen and just uh, the whole gathering room from up here is uh, really nice. This is the Alden model home by Dries. Okay, we are in front of 140 Rock Ledge Court. This is a uh, three bedroom, three bath. It's got uh, 2,297 square feet. And this one has got a ticket on it of 569.9. It'll be ready in about 30 days. As always, if you have questions or uh, wanna take a look, uh, just give me a quick call or text.
Okay, let's go take a look at the next couple. Okay, we've moved down the street. We're in front of 20011 Boulder Brook Lane. This is a parquet model, which uh, is just, it's a different variation of the one that uh, we just took a quick glance at. This one has a loft. And so it is three bedrooms, three baths. It's uh, 2,683 square feet. And this one will be ready in June. All of the uh, floor plans, and there's, there's some additional information on these in the uh, uh, Dries uh, website. Okay, moving next door, we've got the Vanderberg model. This one is at uh, 19997 Boulder Brook Lane. It's a little bigger. It is five bedrooms and three baths. It's got uh, 3,339 total square feet, which includes a partial basement and it's going to have a nice tall look to it okay okay i'm at uh, 114 crestone boulevard this is the uh, buchanan model this is going to be uh, an attractive curb appeal uh, this one has four bedrooms three and a half baths it's uh, 3150 square feet and it's got a uh, full basement this one the ticket on it is 674 900. nice property Okay, let's take a breath and talk about something important. Builders have procedures, and if you want to make them work for you, you have to give it a little forethought. So before some Sunday afternoon you decide you want to just go walk through some uh, model homes, if you want to make them work for you, really work for you, give me a quick call or text, even if it's the weekend, I'll get you registered, and then that way I can help take care of you, put my decades of experience to work for you, make you some money, save you some money, and just make the whole process a whole lot smoother. Hey, to learn how I can help make your next real estate deal a success story and at no cost to you, watch this short video clip right now because you'll be glad you did. Now let's say you want to do a build to suit where you get everything just the way you want it. Uh, right now that's about a six to eight month process, but yes, you do get it just the way you want it. And that way it uh, gives you time to get your own house ready to sell. Um, and then when you're ready, you can give us a quick call and uh, we'll set things up so we can get it sold for you for the most money in the quickest time and with the least hassle. I'll show you a few of them they finished here as we uh, walk along these vacant lots here. But, uh, you know, there are a good number of lots still available, but these homes are selling fast. They've sold nine in the last two weekends, which is kind of crazy. But then maybe you've heard uh, Zillow's named Indianapolis the fourth hottest housing market in the country. And good lots like good houses, well, they sell fast. If you want to look, give me a quick call or text, and let's get you res registered, um, even on weekends. Now, if you have a home to sell, uh, this next section is guaranteed to help make you money. But if you don't have a home to sell, then feel free to skip ahead to the next section. Uh, we're going to do a tour of uh, everything that there is to uh, that you want to know about Westfield, Indiana. Okay, if you're undecided about whether you need to buy or sell first, this is not my first rodeo. I'll be glad to talk and share the pros and cons of going one direction or the other, and then you can be the judge for your own self about what works best for your own personal situation. By the way, we offer a free room-by-room -room analysis. There's no cost and there's no obligation. And I guarantee you that I can help make you money and I can help save you money. My staff and I prepared a short video film about this. It highlights 13 key points that you'll wanna pay attention to because they'll help you sell your home for more money. Plus, I'll share secrets on how I sold my last five homes in a grand total of less than 30 days. The city of Westfield has a lot to offer. Many amenities, not only in its own boundaries, but also in the surrounding area. Westfield is the northernmost suburb of Indianapolis. It sits at the top of Hamilton County, which is the wealthiest county in the state. Highway 31 runs right down the center of it. That's probably the, about the busiest highway in the state other than the interstates. It's about 10 minutes down to Carmel, about the same to 465, which is the beltway that runs around the uh, city of Indianapolis and will take you anywhere you wanna go in the metro area. It's about 20 miles to the downtown circle. That's uh, a, probably about a 45 minute drive. Not that you're probably gonna have a whole lot of need to go all the way downtown unless you're going to a Colts game or a Pacers game or out to eat someplace or something like that. Now, State Road 32 runs east and west, kind of cuts through the middle of the city because the city itself is about a seven by seven mile square and you have roads running about every mile north and south and east and west. But 31 and 32 
are your key travel routes. Now let's talk jobs. Westfield is largely a bedroom community. Most people work outside of Westfield, either in Carmel or down along the Beltway. But there are some jobs in the schools, in the a limited number in manufacturing, and then just in your basic services. Okay, let's talk schools. There's six elementary schools, an intermediate, and a middle school, and a high school. Neat thing about the high school, it's got an enrollment of 2,400, which is considerably smaller than most of its neighbors. And some people just might like that a great deal. Now the system is rated A plus by niche.com. It is ranked number six out of 290 public school systems in the state. That puts it in the top 2%, which is just crazy good. It is also home to Guerin Catholic High School with an enrollment of about 800 students. And it is ranked in the top 5% of all Catholic high schools in the United States year in and year out. So you have two great options for where to send your kids to school. Moving on, let's talk uh, hospitals and medical care. There's a Riverview Hospital basically at the junction of uh, highways 31 and 32. There are many exceptional hospitals located about 15 minutes south in Carmel. These are right on 31. They are, uh, include the IU Health System, uh, Ascension St. Vincent, and the uh, Riley's Children's Hospital. Surrounding those are many specialty hospitals like Heart Hospital, Oncology, Women's Hospital, um, Cardiovascular, and there are many, many ancillary medical buildings surrounding these hospitals. There are tons of healthcare opportunities to satisfy all your needs about 15 minutes south of the main part of Westfield. There is a lot to do in Westfield. The city and the organizations have put together a full schedule of events. And I'm gonna take you on a tour of a few of the major ones a little bit later in this video. And any discussion of Westfield has to begin with Grand Park. Stay tuned to get the full scoop, but there's more to Westfield. Looking at Parks and Rec, there's 12 parks with playgrounds, splash pads, disc golf, a skate park, picnic tables, shelters, gazebos, and 94 miles of trails, even an equestrian trail. Now, when it comes to golf, there's only one public course. So you either have to join a country club or go to nearby Carmel or Noblesville, which has many good options for golf. Music lovers have it better off. Cool Creek Park offers six concerts during the summer, and there's the new Jam at the Junction, which has a concert every Friday night during the summer. Connor Prairie is not too far off. It seats 8,000 people and has 12 concerts during the summer, which are very well attended, and everybody has a good time. We're gonna visit there, and we're also gonna stick our head in the door at Ruoff Music Center. Now, Ruoff is not in Westfield, but it is well, maybe about 30 minute drive away. And uh, it is the gem when it comes to music in the state of Indiana. In 2018, it sold more tickets than any other music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, it is in the top five of ticket sales worldwide. So be sure to stay tuned to see what's going on there. Okay, when it comes to shopping, along State Road 32 to the east are strip centers. To the west, you've got uh, the development of big box stores. And if you go south, right on the border with Carmel, you've got Greyhound Pass. And there are a lot of big box stores, not to mention a lot of other stores. And then right across the street in Carmel is the Clay Terrace, which is an open air mall with even more stores. So there is plenty of shopping opportunity for people that live in Westfield. Okay, let's talk restaurants. Park Street has a number that come very highly recommended. My favorite is the Italian house. You're gonna need to get a reservation probably about two weeks in advance. It's that good. Now there are a number of uh, brew pubs and wine bistros that get quite a bit of attention. But my other fave is Grindstone on the Monon. Be sure to get the pickle brine chicken sandwich. Sounds kind of odd, but it's really pretty darn good. Now, if you'd like to learn everything there is to know about Westfield, Indiana, or to walk through a home you've seen advertised, just text me or book a call. Okay, let's jump in the ride and go take a look at these world famous attractions. Let's talk the Grand Park Sports Complex in Westfield, Indiana. Evidently, the City Fathers had seen the movie Field of Dreams starring Kevin Costner, where he said, if we build it, they will come. If you build it, you will come. Actually, he didn't quite say that, but I'm gonna paraphrase it since that's how it's usually paraphrased anyways. If we build it, they will come. So in 2007, the City Fathers came up with this 
idea and envision Grand Park. Seven years later in 2014, Grand Park opened and it continues to grow. There are 400 plus acres, there are 31 sports fields, 26 ball diamonds. There are three super large indoor facilities and that's just for starters. You put that all together and it makes for one of the 10 largest sports complexes in the country. Let me repeat that, one of the 10 largest sports complexes in the country. It is the home of the NFL's Indianapolis Colts training camp and it's a host of untold number of youth and adult sports competitions. Not to mention leagues and camps and it draws athletes and their families from all over the country. It attracts somewhere between one and two million people to the complex and to the city of Westfield. That brings in millions of dollars to the local economy and it makes Westfield a very busy place, especially during the summer months. The Grand Park Sports Complex is truly a grand park. Check out these music and entertainment options. You won't believe all the shows you can take in. Okay, our music tour continues. We're at Connor Prairie, which is a large regional uh, tourist attraction. It is open year round. They have a variety of activities, uh, including hot air balloons and, uh, oh, the, what is this, uh, 150 or 200, 200 year old uh, working farm. There's a lot that goes on here. Uh, unfortunately, it's February and we're not going to get to see a whole lot of it. But so in the summertime, they have what's called Symphony on the Prairie. And the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra puts on uh, 12 concerts throughout the summertime. And all that area back there seats 8,500 people. Um, in 2023, they featured the music of Harry Potter, uh, the Star Spangled Fourth of July. They had tributes to uh, Marshall Tucker, the Fab Four, uh, Journey, Billy Joel, Elton John. Uh, uh, they did a, a Raiders of the Lost Ark um, theme. They just have a lot of fun. And when you come out here, what you do is you uh, you bring your blanket and your maybe your lawn chairs and a picnic basket with uh, dinner or you know, some snacks to eat on and your favorite uh, beverage. And hey, it's a good time, it really is. I know people that have like tickets for the whole season, all 12 nights. I usually make it out once, maybe twice at the most, but uh, hey, I have a busy summer, so, but hey, it is a good time. Okay, let's uh, finish our music tour with uh, the cream de la cream. Uh, let's go look at Ruoff Music Center. This is Ruoff Music Center. Now it's February and things are buttoned up really tight. Uh, they'll probably throw me out if they see me back here. But at any rate, I'll flash you some photos. You've got to, you've got to think about this. This seats 25,000 people and uh, they have a complete lineup during the summer of all genres of music, all-star lineup. You can get a season pass even. And uh, ticket sales for this are just out of this world. In fact, in 2018, Ruoff sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, they're in the top five. I mean, just crazy. Now, if you get the uh, Premier or the Legends Pass, uh, parking passes, you can pull right up to the turnstiles, you can tailgate, you can walk right in. And then uh, at the end of the night, you don't have to sneak out early. You can stay till the very end. You catch the encore, you walk out. It's five minutes to get out of the parking lot and you're another, what, two, three, five minutes home? Hey, it's a great time. Coming up is my latest monthly market update with actionable data to fuel your real estate success. Housing numbers are in for the month of March, 2024. So what do we have for Hamilton County and the greater central Indiana area? Both uh, close sales and listings picked up speed coming off the winter months, but closings were down 15% and listings down 8% in Hamilton County from a year ago. This was less true throughout central Indiana as a whole, but regardless, inventory is still tight. Good houses that are priced right are now selling within about a seven to 10 day range but the overall average is like five to six weeks, which means it sure helps if your house is in good condition in a good location and priced right. The median price in central Indiana is now 293,000. And in Hamilton County, that number is 426. And final prices settled at just like one to 2% less than asking price. Hey, so what does that all mean for you? Number one, prices are holding steady. Number two, lenders are reporting that more buyers have come in for pre-qualifications than they have for many months. Number three, 
My phone tells me that things are changing. It's been blowing up the last 10 days. And number four, we had a new listing last weekend. They had 19 lookers the first weekend and eight offers over list. Hey, the market is back in full swing. If I can be a service, be sure to give me a quick call or text. Make it a great day now. Hey, if you'd like to know everything there is to know about moving to or living in the greater Indianapolis area, then be sure to tune in every Tuesday as we do our tour of new construction homes for sale. Then on Thursday, we walk through existing homes for sale. And then on the weekend, we take a look at what it's like to actually live in Indiana. Now keep in mind, whether you're buying or selling, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. If you found this helpful, you'll love this next video. Watch this one right now.